few months ago, you had told us that when you launched this machine, I will be in Delhi. <laughs> and as always, you never disappoint and always inspire. So thank you once again for being here today. My very warm welcome also to Professor John Adler, the Dorothy and Thai King Chan Professor in Neurosurgery at Stanford and CEO of Zap Surgical Systems. Welcome back to India and to Appointment. My special welcome also to Dr. Pita Reddy, Executive Vice Chairperson, and Ms. Sunita Reddy, Managing Director of the Apollo Hospital School. Thank you, ma'am, for being here today. Your presence gives us strength. And my special welcome also to Mr. Harshad Reddy, Director at Apollo Cancer Centers. Thank you for being here today. And last but not the least, uh, my welcome and thanks to senior clinicians, colleagues, friends, everybody uh, who is in this packed hall here today. Some housekeeping considerations, we request your phones to be on silent. We will have a Q&A after the proceedings are done for this uh, afternoon. And with that, let's uh, begin those proceedings. Ladies and gentlemen, cancer is the leading cause of death worldwide, accounting for nearly 10 million deaths in 2020, or one in six deaths worldwide. The number of cancer cases in India is projected to go up from 14.6 lakh cases in 2022, to 15.7 lakh cases just next year in 2025, according to the ICMR. And within that, brain tumors, the rate of new cases of brain and nervous system cancers was 6.2% per 100,000 for men and women per year, and the death rate is 4.4. So it, is, it has massive mortality and morbidity effects. And brain tumors constitute about 80 to 90% of all CNS or central nervous system cancers worldwide. And it's, uh, it's, it's sort of projected that about 300,000 people are diagnosed uh, with primary brain or spinal cord tumors. But again, these numbers uh, need to be taken with a pinch of salt because of underreporting. Up till now, brain surgery was the chosen modality to address the rising tide of brain tumor cases. But today we mark a new paradigm uh, which will shift the way in which cancer care is, is given for every Indian, for every person in this region, and of course, from the world over. This afternoon, we're announcing the launch of the ZAPEX gyroscopic radio surgery, which opens up new frontiers in modern surgical robotics for brain tumors and other conditions as well, which were previously considered unconceivable. To give more insights onto this revolutionary technology, we have a short aim to apprise you of what this technology actually does. For 40 years since Apollo has started an ambition to make world-class healthcare available for all our people in this part of the world. The goal was to make top-class medical services accessible geographically and also affordable by lowering their cost to almost a tenth of people compared to the Western nations. This success earned us the trust of more than 100 million patients from across the world who came to Apollo from 160 countries. And it also helped us improve India as a global healthcare destination for best in class healthcare. However, we have never rested on our laurels as a pioneer. Apollo has always been at the forefront to introduce the global best in clinical protocols, medical technology, which is very important, and the state of our technology into India. We at Apollo are committed to continuously harness cutting edge technology in medical advancement to do everything possible to raise the bar in clinical excellence and enhance the quality of life for every patient who trusts us. Today is a momentous day, marking a new beginning. The launch of Zapex virus public radio surgery, the first center for this part of the world. This initiative technology will lead a monumental leap forward in our capabilities to treat various neurological conditions with unparalleled precision and safety. Zapex is a revolutionary radio surgery and is rapidly improving the standard of care for most neurological and surgical conditions across the Western world. A few hospitals in the Western world have already started using it. Today, it's going to be available for people of this part of the world. Each intertainment tumors, brain metastasis, or cerebral ABMs Trigeminal neurology and even several movement disorders, which is very important for all the neurologists. Zapex demonstrates its clinical efficacy and unmatched success. I am happy that Zapex is invented by a genius professor 
Joan Arder nos llama. Por último, si no te pasas, si te pongas por el sitio en ese lugar, and the new cyber-night also were born now. Today, this greater advancement on cyber-night is graphics, which represents a significant advancement beyond other technologies that are available now. The upcoming scientific congress for the launch of the Apex will be extended by illustrious Professor John Adair Prohl from the USA and Professor Maxman Ruiz from Germany, who already treated this patient and are very happy with, with, with the results that they have obtained when they pay for their patients. And I invite each of you to honest the state of the art medical equipment to deliver the best possible care for each of your patients and make this world a healthier and happier one. I think this technology will make India lead the path in healthcare for the world, and together we'll do it. Because for us, every life is precious. Zapex is pain free, non invasive, safe, and requires no anesthesia. That's not all. Zapex does not need an overnight hospital stay or incisions. Zapex treatment entails 30 minute sessions. From hours of surgery, we have now progressed to 30 minute sessions, transforming delivery of care and improving quality of life like never before. Reduced radiation to healthy tissues ensures a quicker recovery, allowing patients to heal faster. From consultation to post treatment, we have reimagined care to deliver an unmatched experience every step of the way. We at Indrabrast Apollo Hospital are revolutionizing neuroradio surgery with Zapex. Trust Apollo and Zap for innovation, precision and excellence in surgical outcomes. As a neurosurgeon, precision is paramount in treating brain tumors and other neurological conditions. That's why I trust Zapex, the cutting edge solution for stereotactic radio surgery. Tremendously honored to be here today to inaugurate the latest Zapex in a country that means a lot to me and means a lot to the world, the most populous country in the world, with significant unmet needs in healthcare. But as it has been for the better part of a generation and a half, Apollo intends to treat and save lives of countless number of patients using the new technology that we're talking about today, the ZEPX. So it, for me, this has been a long journey. Um, I, as a young man coming out of actually Mass General, I spent a year at the Karolinska Institute in Sweden, where the founder of radio surgery, a great man named Lars Lexell, I fell under his spell. He was creating not just a new way of treating cancer, treating tumors, but he was thinking about very much about the future of surgery. Forever, when people think about surgery, they think of pain, they think of disability, they speak of anesthesia, big, expensive, long, drawn out procedures, and oftentimes with significant collateral damage. Well, Lexell dreamed of a new world where non invasively we could do the same things that we can do with open operations. And when I met that, when I met him, when I understood the dream, I fell under spell. And I've more or less committed my, my life to this path. And over the last 40 years, since I spent my time at Karolinska Institute, or almost 40, uh, radio surgery has emerged to become actually one of the most common operations that neurosurgeons do in America. By far the most common operations that neurosurgeons do in America for brain tumor. And yet, we realize, despite all the technology, my own work creating the cyber knife, other technologies, other inventions, the gamma knife, Professor Lexell's technology, all these inventions over 30, 40 years, and yet we're treating less than one in 10 patients in the world today. And I'm sure it's far less than one in 10 here in India. So it was out of that need, out of the understanding that the vast majority of patients in the world who would benefit from radio surgery, which is the best in class treatment, who don't have it, I set out to make a next generation device, and that is what has become the ZAPX. So you can look at all radio surgical technology as basically magnifying glasses 
for ionizing radiation. When you go out in the sun, the sun, if you're fair skinned like me, you can get some sunburn, maybe over several hours. But if you put a magnifying glass in front of the sunlight and you direct all the little beams at a point in space, you have a very different energy source, a transformative energy source. And that's what radio surgery is, and that's what the ZAPX is. It is a transformative radiation treatment that very precisely, with sub-millimeter targeting accuracy, can deliver intense doses of radiation to tumors anywhere in the brain and now even the head and neck. And when you do that, you can almost consistently and uniformly cure the brain tumor that you're treating. Now, sometimes you can't cure the disease, but you can almost always eradicate the tumor that you're treating. While this is incredibly exciting, the idea that we can treat with this type of technology four or five million patients a year by the end of this decade, and maybe a million patients just here in India, starting here with Apollo, it is also become increasingly understood, particularly by the research team that I'm working with, that radiation doesn't just kill tumors. That the right dose of radiation to the right target can actually change the activity of a circuit that can cause diseases, like addiction and depression. So it is believed by me and others in the field right now that this device will not just be a cancer device, but may have commonplace procedures someday for things like depression, addiction, obsessive compulsive disease. The Apollo Hospital, everyone who's made this a reality, and I can promise that there will be thousands and even tens of thousands and someday in all of India, millions of patients who are going to benefit from the decision you made here and now. So, Namastasi. Chairman, Dr. John Adler, my sister Prita, members of the Apollo team and the visiting doctors who've come to celebrate this very special occasion on this very auspicious day. Thank you all for being here. I, as I look, you know, Apollo started 41 years ago, and as I look at the impact that such hospitals, such healthcare, and such vision can have on India, I can only give you a few statistics to, to mention this and elaborate on this impact. For 41, when we started in the 1980s, life expectancy was 56 years old for the average Indian male. Today it is 70 years old. Maternal mortality has improved by a factor of four, has decreased by a factor of four. Infant mortality has decreased by a factor of six. 80% of the patients who come to places like Apollo and other corporate hospitals used to go abroad for treatment. We were losing doctors and surgeons who would travel overseas to practice. We stopped the brain drain. But more important, Today, Indians have an opportunity to get world-class healthcare at one-tenth of the cost. And this has benefited not just Indians, as Pita has said, but uh, patients from 147 countries now come to India for healthcare because of the clinical outcomes that we offer. Part of this journey was when we first started Apollo. I mean, we were mending hearts. We were fixing broken hearts. We started that way. And we continue to do that. So while we've improved life expectancy, a significant part of that journey that Chairman is very passionate about is preventive health care. And in this space, we believe that while we've looked at survival and we've done that very well, life expectancy has increased. We want to improve the quality of life because the impact of NCDs could cost this nation $4 trillion. And this is what we want to prevent. And I think this is part of the purpose of Apollo, to look after human life. And in doing so, we've done so in such a way that we move closer to the consumer. Clinics, daycare centers, cradles, different formats of care that is closer to the patient in every which way. And now with the launch of 24 by 7, our digital app, which creates a comprehensive network of care that can look after patients wherever they are in India through telemedicine, through your phone. And that is how advanced we are. And we do it for a single reason. It is because we care for each and every patient. We care for the lives 
of, of our people and for the, all those people around the world. You know, every time chairman takes a risk, I take a deep breath. And I must say that the reason I do so because, you know, when he takes a risk, I have to say this wonderful team here, he does it. I do, you know, all of us do it with the confidence that this team will deliver on the outcomes. So while we are in a very happy position of sitting in a boardroom, it's all of you that do the hard work, whether it's the clinical outcomes that the doctors produce, the managers who make sure that this equipment is utilized well, and all of you, the press, for educating the public on what more can be done so that we improve the quality of lives of everyone. May God bless us all on this very special day. Thank you.